Hello people, it's Dodie, and this one's a little bit different because actually you get to see my face. There's a reason for that, because as you can see, I've got this great big package from Sonny and Lola. And Lola is crazy mad to find out what her grandmother looks like, so here it is. This is Dodie. Now, let's get into this box. Which she taped up incredibly well. Oh my goodness. a note <clears throat> says to our Jewish grandmother Dodie we hope you know how much we appreciate your friendship you are so full of knowledge about dolls and life and we are thankful that you share it with us this box is full of dolls that we felt you would really appreciate or could nurse back to health we don't know much about most of them and all of them are thrift finds well thank you so much Sonny and Lola Thrift Finds is about the only way you're going to find the really old dolls. Mm -hmm. And that's important because we really need to keep the history of our hobby alive. So let's see what we got here. Look at here. We got some of the Dress Me Dolls. This one is more than likely a Hollywood from the 1950s, it looks like. Yeah, and the Nun Dolls. For some reason, back in the 50s, the Nun Dolls were very, very popular. And oh my. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. This one is dressed. in an absolutely gorgeous pink tool, pink satin gown. Oh, that's going to be pretty when it's just un... All I have to do is steam this one out and you'll see it. I'll do a video on it. This one's a little different. You have to look at them. But they've all got mohair wigs, which is what happened, what they used before we ended up with all the saran and nylon hair. It was mohair because it looked and felt like uh, real hair. Those are just precious. You want to talk about a pretty dress me doll. 
And she's got a stand, one of the old Barbie stands, <clears throat> without the uh, upper loop. But this is the way doll stands used to be. And she is just absolutely precious. Beautifully detailed. And let's see what Blondie looks like. <laughs> this is a competitor. Barbie and she's got something that apparently flashes the lights in her dress that's going to be fun to look at Let's see. no clue as to who she is but that's going to be fun to play with thank you girls Another Dress Me doll, Tiara. And she's even in her original box, so somebody in nylons. And her ribbon reads, uh, Princess Tiara. Yeah. The dress, these are not exactly dress me dolls. They're, uh, what they are were display dolls. Fifth Avenue doll. And she was a Valentine doll. You pretty much just displayed these dolls. Obviously, you didn't play with them simply because they were like uh, today's collector dolls. Most of these companies are no longer in business, unfortunately. But they're a great way to look back and see what your grandmother did. Because I remember, oh, look at here. The Dolls of All Nation, I think, are still in business. But look how lovely that is. And very much a case of just something pretty and fluffy and something easy to look at. You little tchotchke. Arms and head move. But everything else has been either glued or stapled on. These are just absolutely gorgeous. And this one She hadn't even been taken out of the box stand You see the, uh, oops. They would put the doll in the cardboard and then 
lock the cardboard around her feet. And that's how they shipped them without uh, those annoying ties in the head and around the neck and all. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Something hidden in here. <laughs> yeah, no collection was ever complete without a hula girl. The fun part about these dolls is that for being so small, they were detailed really well. And it's amazing what you can do with ribbon. And essentially that's all this was, was ribbon. Wide and narrow and a little trim. And actually, they encouraged everybody to dress their own dolls because these dolls could and often did come in a package naked so that you could dress them yourself. They are absolutely charming. These are mainly from the 50s because they're all plastics but they carry on the tradition from the uh, storybook dolls of the 1930s. Ooh. Tag says two bag dolls, but you can do something with them. So, ah, <laughs> and like I said, dress me dolls. The only articulation they had was at the arm and sometimes the head, and these don't even have. Yep, they do. They have the head that moves, but the feet are frozen. It's a cousin to the uh, frozen Charlotte disc dolls that little girls had everywhere. For some reason, as things went on throughout the uh, years, it was figured out, it was figured that children couldn't play with glass, which is funny because we did for years and years, and eventually we got to where we are now. Ooh, let's see what we got now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, and you found her dress. Look at here, people. Got my Meg. And we have to thank Megara because she's the one that started the friendship between Sonny and Lola and myself. I had said that I want that I wanted one, which is unusual because I don't usually do Barbie dolls or 12 inch size. But I had said I wanted one and that's when they got in touch with me. And we've been doing this ever since. So there's my Meg. Let's see, this is a big box.
bubble wrap. Oh yeah, stress relief. <laughs> and I think that everybody. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> An anniversary doll. Once again, just these were the trolls of their time as much as anything else. They were pretty, not real expensive. What is this? Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't remember right off the bat who she is, but I know that she's a Hasbro. We'll do a video on her. A little later because she's going to have to have her eyes repainted. But it looks like Pepper's little sister. And that one was done real well with a shoe. This was a Christmas, either a baby uh, gift or a Christmas gift because it looks like an angel. Yeah. And it's got sleep eyes, but it hadn't done. It's so old that it's gotten a little dirty and the sleep eyes aren't working. Oh. <laughs> this is a Madam Alexander Wendykins. <laughs> and Wendykins come completely dressed, including little drawers. She is just precious. And the Tyrolean doll of the world. Yeah. Those are so sweet. This is a composition doll, like you've seen, those of you that follow my channel have seen that I work on these. She's not in bad shape. And she's got a knockoff Patsy <clears throat> face. 
So I'm not entirely sure who made her a toddler body and not really much damage. She's going to clean up really pretty. And I don't think I'm going to have to do anything to her face other than clean her paint. Oh, that is a find. Yeah. One thing, you notice she was in a lot of paper. Across the chest and in different places, you can see discoloration, and that's mold. If you ever find a doll like this first, <clears throat> you need to spray her down with a disinfectant or wipe her down with a disinfectant because this is mold and it will definitely make you sick if you're not careful. This is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, girls. I'm glad you found her because she is going to be a ball to fix up. And we're still not to the end of the box. Don't recognize her. But she's going to be fun to investigate and find out what she is. And this one, we already know that I'm not really too up on modern dolls. Anything 30 years or younger. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Well, little baby doll, we're going to have to uh, find her diapers and such. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Now, this one <clears throat> we had talked about, and I do know who this is. And for those of you that collect them, this is a Jenny doll. But she's not the fat one, the little toddler body. This was when they sold the rights to her. And this company only made the doll for two years. So this one is very rare. You don't find these often. And she's still in her original little dress, too. Oh, this is great. Yeah. But we got to move on because there's still a bunch more in here. It's a doll wig. Well, girls, you are showing me all kinds of stuff. Another doll of the world type.
<laughs> it's your prize. I don't remember. I don't remember I'm doing it. Ah, uh, but I recognize those shoes. These, for a couple of years, Capizio Dance Company paired with doll companies to make doll point shoes. I have one other doll that actually has those. Oh, I've got to take a good look at her. And here's her tutu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, five points of articulation. And you could be a ballerina forever and ever. Oh, I want to see. I can't wait to see how that cleans up. Huh. <clears throat> it says that this is the box that the doll was found in. And we don't know who she is. Well, she's in a lingerie box. And oh, isn't she pretty? inches tall with sleep eyes and she's got everything including shoes and those are incredibly difficult to find and she comes don't know if this is an overskirt we'll have to look and see an overskirt or what She's sewn into the dress, so she's a dressing doll. <laughs> yeah, she's sewn in, so there's no telling, but she's beautifully done. And so is this underskirt. Let's see if it fits under there. Nope, that belongs to a different doll. Huh. We'll see what happens with that. But this is the type of, this was what Barbie was when I was a uh, tiny girl before Barbie Crick came out. This and the Revlon dolls. So it's a real blast from my childhood. Thank you, girls. Yeah, I'll go over to Sunny and Lola's. She sees so many different little fun things. And I am just absolutely delighted. So many things to play with. I'm going to be a busy girl for the next little bit. Now, y'all have a wonderful Christmas. And thank you, Sunny and Lola, once again. I appreciate it. And that's all I have. Bye-bye.